Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make a portobello mushroom risotto. So I'm just going to zoom you right on in and we'll get started. Okay, so the first word is portobello mushroom. So we're going to get started with just that. So I'm going to take this stem off and remove all this frilly white stuff. And then you are left with just the gills. So I'm going to take a spoon and just scoop those out of there because those add nothing but a mess to our dish. And then I'm just going to go ahead and slice this into quarter inch to half inch pieces, which we will then saute in a skillet. So just getting all that stuff out and slice, slice, slice until we are ready to go in the cast iron. And this is where I like to take those sauteed mushrooms. No more than this, really. I like this texture. This was just in a dry pan and sweating out all of the water. I'll top these with some salt and set them aside until we are ready to plate. Now we're going to make the risotto. So into that same cast iron skillet, but I've removed the mushrooms obviously, I'm putting one diced, roughly chopped, it's not diced, one roughly chopped yellow onion and I'm just going to saute that until they're just starting to be translucent and then I will add my arborio rice that's the rice I use to make risotto and I'm just gonna let that toast so the onions have sweat for a little bit and now I'm gonna add in one half cup of my arborio rice and I'm just gonna stir that in and I'm gonna let this cook over medium and let those toast for about a minute before I add any liquid to this pan. Okay, so now the rice is toasted, I can smell it. It's getting a little fragrant in a nice toasty way. And so I'm going to start adding, um, I think it's a quarter cup. It looks like my quarter cup, quarter cup by quarter cup of vegetable stock. And I'm just going to constantly stir to agitate the rice. And that will release a bunch of starch, which gives risotto its really creamy texture without adding any cream to it. Um, this dish, the one I'm making, is gluten-free and dairy-free, so it's a great alternative for anyone that you know that might have a food allergy. Um, this is great for holidays as well, also just really good standard comfort food. This whole process takes a long time. It's 45 minutes. It's a full episode of Law & Order SVU, so just practice patience and always be stirring when you're making it. And through the magic of this video editing, this risotto is almost done. You can see when I drag a spoon through it, you can see the bottom. I am gonna leave a little more liquid in to soak, but I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna start on the breadcrumbs. Okay, so here I have roughly I'd say probably a half cup to a cup of panko breadcrumbs and I am just toasting those um, over medium heat in a skillet and panko really benefits from some oil to help it crisp up nicely so I'm going to add that while I grab my spices and to this I'm going to add garlic powder and red pepper flakes to really help season these gluten free panko breadcrumbs because otherwise they're just really bland. So I'm gonna stir those in, and you can see it's starting to brown up a little bit in the center of the pan. You wanna do this over medium because once those little breadcrumbs start toasting, it's a very fast turnaround before they go from toasty to burnt, and we don't want burnt, obviously. So I'm gonna stir those in, and then just as they're getting done toasting, I'm gonna add, I have a few tablespoons of minced parsley that will bring a nice floral element, and then the zest of one lemon. Um, it's a very rich dish, the risotto, so I think adding these crispy 
flavorful breadcrumbs really helps break all of that up. And so these are looking great and we'll move to plating. Okay, so here we are. You can see that the risotto soaked up all the extra liquid I left in there. It's nice and creamy and we're gonna go ahead and plate it. So first I'm just gonna take half of the risotto. This makes enough for two people. So I'm gonna take half and just put it in a nice glob, glob. I'm gonna just put it on the plate and then I'm going to artfully put my mushrooms that I reheated in the microwave so they were warm and then I'm gonna to top with my breadcrumbs and because I like the way it looks, I will clean up that plate so all the rogue breadcrumbs that you see aren't on the final presentation. Um, yeah, and then I'll just do the other plate. I decided I preferred the smaller looking plate for this aesthetic. Obviously it's not a proper dinner plate, but no one's coming for me and my lack of, I don't even have a kitchen table, okay? I eat this on the couch. You could even put it in a bowl if you wanted to. It doesn't change the fact that it's delicious. So again, same process in a beautiful glob blob. Going to layer on my portobello mushrooms. Going to top with breadcrumbs. Those were chef snacks. I definitely just ate those. And we're good to go. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys make this and enjoy it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, I just uploaded my new blog, got a full makeover, and so hopefully go check that out too for this recipe. And until next time, happy eating!